We're here at the First Congregation of the Church of Haverhill, and today we're going to take a look inside the newly renovated parsonage. It's not quite done yet, but we'll get an idea of what it looks like inside to get a feel for the size of the building and the kind of room configurations there are. We have a plan to put a driveway here right next to this maple tree, kind of in between the maple tree and the building itself to make Ostreet street parking for the parsonage. So the, uh, there will be a walkway here where we're going to walk and, and be able to access the building. For right now, we'll just go through the snow though. Late March, we still have a lot of snow, so a little unusual, but that's all right. There's a lovely um, porch on the side here, on the west-facing side, and virtually all of the windows here on the front face School Street take a look out over our common area. The Haverhill Corner Commons, Route 10 is down here where the intersection is, and School Street runs right in front of it. So let's take a look inside. The furniture you see in here, most of it can stay or go as the preference of he or she, the new minister, whoever takes the job. You'll have the option of deciding what they'd like to keep for furniture. This gets quite bright in the daytime, in the summer. There are two doors here. We think that this door here that we're looking at now can go straight into an office for the minister. He'll make it nice and private for the family or whomever was here, the individual, and have access for congregants and the public to come in as the new minister sees fit. This door goes straight into the residence area and we'll go inside there. There are lots of hardwood floors in this building. We had used this as a Sunday school room and all this stuff would be coming out. We thought this might make a very nice minister's office as it has access to the house but can be kept completely private by shutting the door right here. So we had a vision that this might be an office area. It too needs to be painted. This is one of two rooms that we need to finish up. The one beyond here is a, used to be a nursery for the Sunday school program. It might actually make a very nice um, dining room area. These areas, this area we're looking at right now have not been renovated, so they will soon be renovated. We're working on it now. We've got a contractor in mind that's gonna come in and finish it up. We're back in the area we think is the office. Center hallway here with a center stairwell. The room we're looking at right here is a parlor living room area. Again, the furniture can stay or go at the choice of the new minister. These windows face out to the common area, as we talked about before. Nice, bright, sunshiny room and the hardwood floors. So this is kind of like the living room parlor area. Down the hall, we have a three quarter bathroom that was recently redone. A new shower install and new paint. I think the floor may be new. So this is a nice little three quarter bathroom for first floor use. There's a full bathroom upstairs. The area over here to the left was once the minister's office. It can be whatever. It's a nice little study area. It could be a craft room or nursery, who knows, whatever, a den of some sort. And again, it too faces the common. The window over here looks out towards the church. The church is right there. So this is like a little study on the first floor. We're all on the first floor right now still. This door here goes to the basement. Not really anything down there except for mechanicals. So no reason to go down there, but there is a new furnace and new hot water heater and some new plumbing. This room here is a kitchen. 
It has a brand spanking new stove, has a new microwave, it's going to have new countertops and a new sink and new countertops over there as well. And I think there's some of the hardware right there to be installed. The room that we were just in, the one I described as a nursery, is right off of that. So it might make for a very good dining room, perhaps. The, uh, there's another door here on the kitchen side that goes out closest to the church. It, too, faces School Street and provides a second means of egress and entrance to the building. So we'll go upstairs. There are four bedrooms up there, a laundry room, upstairs laundry room, which is always a nice thing, and a full bathroom that's been brand new. I don't think anybody's even taken a bath in it yet. Lovely balusters and handrail. Comes up here to the top of the stairs. Great big open stairwell here. This looks out to the church. This is to the east. New windows, nice tight windows. And a brand new bathroom. With a full bathtub. Again, new windows, new floor. All new fixtures. Next to the bathroom is a big laundry room. This faces to the north. Large closet with some storage space. It just goes a little deeper there. And the this is like a laundry room area. Washer and dryer right upstairs here. Makes it nice and convenient to wash clothing so you don't have to take them downstairs or even worse into the into the basement view from the back window you can i can't think you can't see it today but there's a mountain range over there you can see sometimes there's a bedroom here let's actually go back out into the center hallway the center hallway here and as you can see, there are four bedrooms here. Three of them right here. One's off to the opposite side of the bathroom. One bedroom here. This is in the northwest corner. Nice and bright. This is about 4 p.m. Eastern time on March 12th. A little smaller bedroom here. They do connect one window. Might be nice for a little sitting room or craft area or something. And this goes to the upstairs attic area. We won't go up there now. It's a typical attic. Full, full height, ceilings, plenty of storage upstairs. Lots of storage upstairs. And furniture and things can stay or go as, as individuals see fit. This is the, one of the larger bedrooms. It faces School Street and the Common. So this is the view from one of the upstairs bedrooms across the Common. There's another bedroom that connects to it, separated by a door. This too has nice, corner, three windows on the corner, view from the, view from the bedroom, and it's conveniently located right across from the bathroom. So nice circular flow in the building, it's easy to get around in, and we, all new fresh paints, new flooring, new bathroom, new laundry area, Lots of new things. And down back downstairs. So that's a thumbnail sketch of what we have to offer here in the parsonage. And this is the, like I say, we've got some more touch up work to do, but by and large it's done. And we think it came up nicely. We think it'd be a nice home for whoever wants to join us here at our church. 
So <laughs> walk one more time around and look out the window over here. This is this is a view to the west. This is uh, the skyline you see over there across the way. That's Vermont. We're less than a mile away from Vermont, by the way, the crow flies. The Connecticut River is down in the valley. So nice, nice location. And it's very convenient to the common, which is a very nice spot to, for recreation and kite flying. And we have band concerts there occasionally. Kids play ball out there. So that's what we have. Thanks for watching.